Okay, in this tutorial, we're going to work the other direction, and we're going to convert radians to degrees. So I have my unit circle here on the screen, and here are my radians. Now, zero radians starts over here on this side, but it's also the same as 6.28 radians once you go all the way around the circle, right? Because that's there's pi, and twice the distance, twice the angle of measure is 2 pi, or 2 times 3.14 is 6.28 radians over here. All right, so let's say I want to convert any particular angle, I mean any particular radian to degrees. So we'll just use 1.57 radians. So this should turn out to be 90 degree angle. And there's a 180 degree angle or 270 or 360 degrees all the way around the circle. So let's see, I'll use the uh, grease pencil real quick. And it's just, Unlike the previous lesson where we multiply, we were multiplying by pi over 180 to go from degrees to radians. In this case, we do 180 over pi. So we'll take 1.57 radians times. I'm going to move my. Uh, hang on, let me move my cursor out of the way. <laughs> There's. All right. times 180 degrees over pi. Like this, so I'll get the calculator 1.57, this approximate value for the 90 degrees, 1.57 radians times 180 is 282.6. So 282.6 divided by pi, and pi is, of course, that's the same as saying, just like this is saying 3.14 radians, it, this is really the same as saying pi radians, because you're just substituting this symbol for 3.14, so it's pi radians, all right? So 282.6 divided by pi radians or divided by 3.14, so I'll just take that value here and divide it by 3.14. That's just an approximate number, so this isn't precise. You, if you want more precision, just add more digits. And that is equal, there it is, is equal to 90 degrees for your angle. So then you can do it, if you have any value in radians, you just multiply it by 180 over pi and it'll give you the results in degrees. Okay, well that's it for this lesson, and I'll see you in the next lesson.